to be a makeup and hair look I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys like how it came out I dyed my hair yesterday and I wanted to go for a blonde but unfortunately this is what came out um, this is the color that came out and I'm actually loving it so and I did just a makeup look I'm on my way to the city with my girlfriends to see the tree and go ice skating and all the winter festivities so don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and comment down below how your Christmas was. And yeah, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can be a part of my family here on YouTube and help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a happy holidays. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, so first we're going to start off by getting some concealer. This is by... LA Girl Colors and I'm just going to conceal my under eye bags. Then I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend everything out nice and smoothly. So after everything is blended nice and smoothly, I am going to be moving on to my eyebrows. And what I like to do first is I like to just smooth everything out, brush everything out. And of course, you can see here my brother is eating my in front of my video. <laughs> but besides the point, so now I'm just going to outline my eyebrows and fill them in as I normally do. So after I outline them and fill them in, I just like to go back and brush everything in. And the last and final step for my eyebrows is just to is just to um, shape them up a little bit more with some more concealer. And after I do that, I just like to blend that out as well with a beauty blender. This makes it look nice and crisp and clean. Just want to make sure it's nice and perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to move on to um, another concealer. This is by Maybelline and I'm just concealing some um, acne scars or just scars in general and just covering up that blemish. And then I'm just going to move on to doing some contouring. And this is by um, a Fit Me Stick by Maybelline. And I'm just going to define my cheeks and my nose. And I'm just going to blend that out as well with a beauty blender. I just want to add some color to my face. Because, of course, in the winter months, you are looking kind of pale. <laughs> you just want to smooth out the lines to make sure it's nice, not harsh. And now I'm just going to use this NYIC translucent powder to bake my concealer under my eyes. And I'm just going to let that sit there while I start on my blush. I'm using this blush palette by Forever 21 and I'm just going to use this nice brown, brownish pink color for my cheeks. And I'm just going to want to use a um, blush brush and just going to add some color to my cheeks. And I love this color because it doesn't, um, it's not as not as strong and I'm just going to um, wipe away all of the powder and I'm just going to start on my eyes now. So I'm using this primer by HD Cosmetics and I'm just going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow. Just want to blend this out. 
And after I do that, I'm going to start by using the Sephora palette. This is a holiday palette from last year. And I'm just going to start by using a transition color, this nice pinky brown color. And I'm just going to put this in my crease and blend out. And just keep blending out. The next color I'm going to be using is this nice bronze color. This is going to be a base for my lids. And I'm going to be using a flat brush to pack on the color. And I love how um, glittery this color is. It's just a nice brownish bronze color. And you're just going to want to pack that on. Just going to want to pack it on. And I just added some tape to give my eyes more of a tapered look. And I'm going to be adding this brown color from another palette to deepen up this eyeshadow. Because I'm going for a nice smoky eye look. And you're just going to want to blend this out. And I guess just keep adding as much as you want to increase intensity. And now I'm going to start by using this light snow color for the inner quarter of my eyes to brighten and open up my eyes to make them look a little bit more bigger. And like I said, I'm just packing this on the inner corner of my eyes. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to be moving on to eyeliner. I mean, now I'm just going to be moving on to adding some loose um, glitter and I'm going to whip my brush and add this on with a flat tip brush as well. You just want to make sure that the brush is wet so it can stick to your eyelids. Just packing this on to give this look more of a Christmassy feel and just keep packing on the intensity. And I got these glitters from like my local um, craft store. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner by Absolute. I will have all of the products that I use down below in the description box. And I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corners. I'm going to stop in the middle of my eye. And we're just going to be doing a winged eyeliner. So I'm just going to peel off the tape, of course. Now moving on to the highlight. I'm using this Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter that I'm in love with. I'm just going to add some to my nose, of course, my head, and my forehead. And now I'm just going to start by using this Explosion mascara which is the bomb and after I use this I'm gonna add some more mascara on by Wet n Wild because I want my eyelashes to look nice and full okay so now we're just gonna do the same thing we did on the lids on the top to the bottom and I'm just going to add this nice bronze color under my eyelids And then you're just going to add the darker bronze color under that. I think this makes the look just 10 times better. And I'm just going to add some coal eyeliner to halfway through my eyelids. And now I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can 
to make it look like a smoky eye look. Now on to the lips, the last and my favorite part. I'm going to be using this lip liner by Jordea. It's a red um, color called Red Engine, I think it's called. And I'm just going to line my lips. And I also fill them in as well. And then I'm going to be moving on to this next red color by e.l.f. And this is a matte color. And I'm just going to just deepen this red color. And the last lipstick that I'm going to be using is by Remy London and it's called Kate and it's a nice deep red vampy lip color. I'm just going to spray my face with the setting spray. I'm just going to move on to my hair. So like I said, I dyed my hair yesterday and I wanted it to come out a nice blonde color, but unfortunately I got this nice ombre light to dark hair color and I'm going to be using this Motions oil to smooth down my hair and make sure there's no frizz. I'm just going to unloosen these twist outs. So I'm now moving on to the next side. I'm just going to spray my hand with the oil and just undo the twist. I want my hair to have a lot of volume, so for this I'm probably going to pick it out. So, like I said, after I fluff it out, that is the completed hair and makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Happy Holidays!